Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint by Sing Shong Chapter 179 Unable to be Eaten Part 1 Yu Jong Hyuk's expression slowly changed as he held me by the neck. Previously, I would already be falling through the air. Now everything was the opposite. I flew through the air instead of falling. Yu Jong Hyuk had thrown me as hard as he could. Yu Jong Hyuk was watching me. His expression showed he was certain that I wouldn't die. I didn't hear his voice, but I could tell what he was saying. Feed him one blow, Kim Dokja. The moment I was about to answer, the tentacles blocked my gaze. The attack of the tentacles missed me by a hair's breadth, and I landed on the Eater of Dreams' body. I used the strength remaining in my arms to grab the body and move towards the wound. This guy was a life-threatening presence, just through touch. If I was still an incarnation, I might have already passed out or died. If he finished his descent, it was scary to think about what might happen. I threw my body into the wound. I'm sorry. I can't go with you. Power drained from my body, and I felt Chiok Jungyang's strength scattering. I didn't panic, because I had already expected it. Soon afterwards, the wound connected to the outside completely closed. I floated in the air, like a person floating in the universe. The inside of the Eater of Dreams was as dark as the sky. It was a space with no blood or flesh. It was natural, since the Outer God wasn't a living thing. Dung, dung, dung. I heard the sound of drums coming from somewhere. Then there was a whispering. Someone gazed at me. It wasn't hard to breathe, despite there being no air. Perhaps the moment I entered this space, my very existence was transformed. Then after a while, all sounds disappeared. The screams of the incarnations and the messages of the constellations were gone. Instead, there were unknown characters and images. This was the stomach of the Eater of Dreams. It was a place where all the stories he had eaten were gathered. Hashtag percent and carrot hashtag dollar carrot. There were some stories I could recognize. Perhaps they were from Founder's mother. It is my fault. The foolish history was too long. I have to protect this land from the nebulae. However, now there is no one in Hongek. Where have all the gods of creation gone? Huanang. I want to see Huanang. Then a story with a small light came up to me and shouted. What are you doing? Why are you here? Run away. The light flickered. Thank you, but there was nowhere for me to run away to. The outer gods were existences rooted in the distant outer universe. Half of his body was connected to the second floor of Dark Castle, while the inside of his body was directly connected to the outer universe. Thus, his stomach was like outer space to me. It was a world of sheer emptiness, only filled with the desire to eat. The Eater of Dreams wanted me. The scattered letters gathered together and started to form a shape. In this empty space, eyes and a mouth were created. In fact, I wasn't sure if they were eyes or a mouth, but I had to think of it in these terms since I was a human. He seemed to be saying something but his voice wasn't heard properly. After a while, the letters shivered and started to transform into words that I could understand. The smell of an interesting story. The moment that two eyes looked at me, I gulped without knowing it. This was the presence of a god who caused fear in even the narrative-grade constellations. The presence of an inferior scenario, how, do you hear me? The exclusive skill fourth wall is extremely active. The fourth wall became more active than it had ever been so far. I felt like a wall was growing on my skin. It meant this enemy was dangerous. He wasn't even a great old ones. I couldn't imagine what the gods such as the fear of Sarnath, horror from the hills or master of Relia would be like. I took a deep breath and slowly opened my mouth. Eater of Dreams. You are a great god of another world. Oh. The letters of Eater of Dreams twitched like he was surprised by my words. 
In this guy's eyes, I wasn't even a bug. I was a strange toy he could erase at any time. Strong sparks occurred around me, and the letter started to revolve. There was something that wanted to penetrate inside me. However, as soon as it reached my side, it was bounced off. The letters of Eater of Dreams spoke in a subdued manner. What, are you? Are you under a special protection? This guy had attempted to mentally invade me. Then he had been bounced off by the fourth wall. I would have been destroyed if I didn't have this skill. I controlled my heart and looked at the Eater of Dreams. As I said before, the Yu Jong Hyuk of the 136th Regression was eaten by him. However, Yu Jong Hyuk didn't die. In other words, my current basis was his 136th attempt. I slowly opened my mouth so that I wouldn't be caught by his boundaries. I came to tell you a story. Story. I like stories. The outer god reacted immediately. The monstrous greed caused him to become fuzzy. Among all the stories you have eaten, there are those belonging to Lee Suk Young. Please send her back. The face looked puzzled. This isn't a story? I will tell you a story in exchange. What story will you tell me? I pointed to myself without speaking. It was obvious what I meant. I was making a bet with my existence at stake. The big eyelids slowly blinked. Small constellation, yes. Do you intend to make a deal with me? The moment I was going to open my mouth, shapes appeared in the air. It was an image made up of the stories that Eater of Dreams had devoured. The bear doesn't talk to the fish. The image shown was a giant bear, reminiscent of Founder's mother. The bear looked around with foolish eyes and caught the fish flowing through the empty universe. The Eater of Dreams looked at the bear and said, Human, I don't negotiate with bugs. I hadn't been properly recognized yet. A half-constellation couldn't deal with a cosmic deity. It was a natural story. However, I shook my head. If bugs talk like humans, think like humans and act like humans, they can't be called bugs anymore. I glared at the two huge, black eyes. You, aren't qualified to make a deal with me. I can take away everything you have at any time. Then why are you talking to a bug instead of taking it away? The bear eating the fish looked at me. The bear raised its paws in a threatening manner, as if it was going to hit me right away. I stared at the bear and said. The bear knows how to eat fish, but it doesn't know how to eat them deliciously. The bear's paw hesitated. The feet are damaged by the scales, the claws are dirty after taking out the guts of the fish and it just fills its anger. Just as I'm not a bug, you're not a bear. Isn't that right? The letters in the space jumbled together and the Eater of Dreams' face became bizarre. Usually, I would be terrified, but I had read the original novel. I started grinning. This situation was too pleasant for me to bear. All the stories will be damaged if you forcibly take them. If you trample on me right now, you won't get a perfect story. I will tell you a story that you can eat in its best condition. You'll always be able to eat it. Dung, dung, dung. Once again, I heard a drumming sound. It was like a giant beast's pulse. The tempo of the sound became increasingly faster. Dung. 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 I had read the original work and knew the identity of this drumming sound. I want to eat you. This sound was the eater of dreams hunger. I gulped and raised both hands. If you keep your promise, I will give you a lot. The letters turned into smoke and started to form a shape. After a while, it took on the appearance of my mother. Is this what you want? I nodded. This story has some interesting corners. I saved it because it smelt more delicious than the shell of the constellation I ate along with it. I want to eat you very badly, but I can't afford to give you this story. Are you a beast who can't control your hunger? Is there anyone who would be offended by the insults of bugs? Fucking bastard. 
I didn't know what rank he was among gourmets, but he was low among the outer gods. The letters formed a brutal smile. The conversation with you ends here. I will eat all of you. The image of the bear who caught the fish flew towards me bearing sharp teeth like a piranha. There was no place to run away. My legs couldn't move and in any case, I was in his stomach. Shit, fine. If you want to eat, then eat as much as you like. Instead, I spread open my arms and greeted him. Be sure to eat all of it. Hundreds of fish started to eat at my body. They bit at my arms, my legs, my back and my face. I felt a terrible pain, but no blood came out. Instead, it was letters. The stories and histories I had built up started to leak out after I was bitten by his teeth. Oh! T this is? The god shrieked with joy at the heavenly delicacies. My consciousness was blurred and there was a pounding in my head. Nevertheless, I held on. I had to hold on until he ate the part one was thinking about. Oh, oh? The next moment, something poured out of me like a waterfall. He had touched something. The exclusive skill fourth wall has reacted to the vibrations hitting the wall. The moment I was waiting for had finally come. The letters poured into his stomach, creating a torrent. It was an enormous amount of stories. You, what the hell are you? The baffled eater of dreams cried out to me, but I didn't have the strength to answer. I was hard to keep my sanity with all the stories pouring out. I looked at the sentences passing in front of my eyes. Yu Jong Hyuk looked at the mouth of Eater of Dreams and spoke. It was the contents of ways of survival. Yes, if you want to eat me, eat as much as you can. It was the 136th regression, Yu Jong Hyuk. Yu Jong Hyuk was eaten by the Eater of Dreams and had been in the same situation as me. This, what the hell is this? Yu Jong Hyuk of Ways of Survival replied on my behalf. You will know. You will experience what it is like to have lived 136 times. You will know all the loneliness, sorrow, anger, and hatred towards this damn world that I felt during this awful time. Kekwa. You think of humans as worse than bugs. If so, feel it from now on. Wait, wait a minute. The pain that bugs suffer. Feel the history of the bug that you can't handle. If you have the confidence to eat me, then eat and eat as much as you can. The stories pouring all filled the stomach of the Eater of Dreams with continuous explosions. The Eater of Dreams ate ways of survival and struggled with the pain. Somewhere in his stomach, cracks started to appear. Ways of Survival spoke as if laughing at the confused Eater of Dreams. It was the moment when the Eater of Dreams, who was born in space and lived for 8,000 years, realized it. Hu. It was the scene where Yu Jong Hyuk first killed a god. I had read it over and over again, almost memorizing it. I paraphrased the following sentence on behalf of Ways of Survival. In this world, there is a story that should never be eaten. Chapter 180. Unable to be eaten. Part 2. In the original novel, the Eater of Dreams swallowed Yu Jong Hyuk, struggled against the terrible life that Yu Jong Hyuk suffered and eventually disappeared. It was a disaster, caused by overeating. However, this was the story in Ways of Survival. It wasn't the 136th regression that he would eat this time. Hu. The third regression, the fourth regression, the fifth regression. Do you know what will happen if humans live for thousands of years? The 36th regression, the 47th regression, the 69th regression. Have you ever thought about the pain of an endlessly repeating life? The 141st regression, the 143rd regression, the 148th regression. This is human suffering. You damn tentacles bastard. There was a feast of memories that never ended. Cracks started to spread through the engorged space. After eating what shouldn't be eaten, the crazy eater of dreams started to riot. 
However, he had no place to go, because this was his stomach. No one could escape from themselves. Clue. The flood of words was larger than what he could handle. The stories that weren't absorbed flew away, and the flood of stories swept over the outer universe like waves. The wreckage of the damaged stomach scattered. The fourth wall is slowly opening its eyes. The fourth wall is searching for something to eat. The startled eater of dreams stared at me. The fourth wall laughs at the eater of dreams. Now the relationship between predator and prey had changed. Qua. The fourth wall, which was made up of many letters, started to swallow the stories of the eater of dreams. It was purely hungry eating, without caring about gourmet food. The countless fish and other symbols of the eater of dreams tried to flee, but it couldn't escape from the persistent wall. The stories that he had eaten for 8,000 years were crushed to powder and sucked into the wall. The patterns on the wall emitted a bright light. The voice of the unauthorized guy who read the story was shocked. More than half his thoughts had been consumed and they appeared on the wall. Surely this isn't. Oh. The great old ones. Where are all of you? At the last moment, he tried to abandon everything and run, but the fourth wall was one step faster. The wall exposed its terrible teeth and swallowed the contents of the stomach. Oh, great old, oh. There was a dazzling light and the open mouth of the wall finally closed. The fourth wall has finished eating. You have defeated an outer god. The star stream has failed to find a suitable name for your achievement. An unknown achievement will be added to your fifth story. Your status, which was about to be confirmed, will be re-evaluated. The fragments of the Eater of Dreams scattered and I remained in the void of the outer universe with a few stories. The space didn't collapse even though the Eater of Dreams was dead. I still hadn't returned to my original world. The gods of the outer universe are greatly confused after hearing of the death of Eater of Dreams. The outer gods are trying to figure out what happened in this scenario. Some great old beings are watching you. A feeling of nausea rose inside me. Perhaps it was because my spirit had been eaten, but I felt weakened. Heek, heek, queek. It was a horrible experience. Yu Jong-hyuk had done this in the 136th regression. Queek. After vomiting a few times, I searched through the fragments of the story for my mother. Fortunately, the image formed by Eater of Dreams was preserved. She stood there with closed eyes. Was she still alive? I didn't know. I tested my mother's pulse and shook her shoulders. Please wake up. First, I had to take my mother out of here. I looked around. Why wasn't the space broken? In the 136th regression, there was the scene where Yu John Hyuk killed the Eater of Dreams, the space collapsed and he returned to the original world. The outer universe was operated with the power of the outer god. Once the outer god died, it should be broken. This time, the outer god died, but his face was still maintained. Why? The fourth wall is looking at you. Don't tell me? The fourth wall shakes its head with regret. The fourth wall is still hungry. It ate so many stories, yet it was still hungry? The fourth wall has started to suck the remaining remnants. It was as if a vacuum cleaner was turned on as the fourth wall opened its mouth and started to suck in the rest of the surroundings. The remaining stories, the dust and Wait. Wait. Even my mother who was in my arms. I flew towards the wall. Hey. Don't eat that. Before I could reach the wall, my mother was sucked into it. The mouth devoured my mother's head, arms, and torso. Shit. I told you not to eat that. The fourth wall is laughing with satisfaction. The fourth wall is licking its lips as it looks at you. I had to ask something. There was something I hadn't heard yet. Yet this damn wall had swallowed my mother. What happened after being swallowed by the wall? I didn't know. 
One thing was for certain, none of the beings eaten by the wall had returned. The theater dungeon's master, the reincarnator Nirvana, and even the eater of dreams. Was there any possibility of my mother surviving when even an outer god couldn't survive? Spit her out. I started punching the fourth wall. The wall licked its lips towards me, but showed no signs of eating me. The surface of the wall faintly shook at my punch. Punch and punch again. I knew it was foolish, but I didn't stop. I couldn't stop. How much did I hit the wall? Then a message appeared on the wall. First, I remember when I gave that child a name. I stared blankly at the sentence. I realized what it meant after a short time. He wanted to use Doak, alone, and I wanted Doak, reader. Maybe it was from here that he and I became different. I groaned and hit the wall. I never wanted to hear the story this way. I wanted him to be a reader rather than a lonely person. As long as they read something, humans won't be lonely. I probably wanted to believe this. As soon as my punches stopped, countless sentences appeared on the wall. I couldn't believe how many sentences there were in a person's lifetime. I should stay at home? Huh? Why should I live like this? How long do I have to live while supporting you and that child? Suk Young, you have to endure it. Think of Dokja. The man will only do it for a moment. Mother, I think you should pay attention to Dokja. I cursed and started beating on the wall again. There were some things I remembered, but some things I didn't. Still, the feelings of those days were vivid. It was hard. At the time, I was so tired that I couldn't think of anything else. When I thought about it, it was just as hard for my child. My mother had suffered in those days. Violence against a woman, a mother, and a person, it should never be done. Dokja. Get in here. Understood? Don't come out until mother says you can. The merciless words continuously appeared and I once again suffered my childhood from another point of view. It sounded like a completely strange story, despite it being something I had experienced personally. This was what happened. It was so painful. It was miserable. By the way, why had I forgotten all of this? Did I just want to forget? Meanwhile, the wall continued to speak. I should have left him. No matter what other people said, I should have taken that child and gone to a distant place. She should have left in the end. Why didn't I? It was a record filled with remorse and regret. This was my mother, who was silent in reality. Now she was opening her mouth when it was a novel. It happened late in the evening. Finally, the story began. Bring more alcohol. My father's voice shouted to bring more alcohol. He pushed my mother and hit her stomach. My father was threatening. Why you? Put down the knife and let's talk. Slowly, the memories were coming back. The little boy hiding in the room stuck out his head. That's right. At that time, my father was holding a knife and acting threatening. Dokja. I told you to stay in your room. My mother shouted and ran towards me. My drunk father swung the knife threateningly. You will die and I will die as well. Eh? Should we all die? Aren't we fucked up living together like this? Huh? Then let's die together. My mother threw her body forward. There was a sound and my father's body collapsed. A knife dropped to the ground. Alcohol flowed from a rolling wine bottle. I knew the next scene. My mother would pick up the fallen knife and stab my father. Then she would tell me, from now on, I will read all of this again. You. You act. By the way. Dokja. No. Put down that thing. What was this? Dokja. I picked up the knife and was trembling as I stared at my father. My small face was covered in tears. My father laughed mockingly and swung his fist. 
Instead of hitting my mother, my father slipped on the bottle. Then, blood emerged from his mouth. If I immediately called for help, he might have been able to live. I felt clogged up. I was the only one who could save him and I chose not to. This accident changed our lives. The words I told the child weren't a lie. I was the one who killed him. My mother took away the knife from the child who lost his mind. Then after a few deep breaths, she quietly woke me up. Doctor. From now on, I will read all of this again. Your father did something wrong and died. This was self-defense. Understood? No matter what, you must not forget that you are the victim. My mother's voice permeated my ears. Perhaps many things were decided at that time. The mother searched for cases relating to murder and manipulated the evidence. She ruled out anything that could involve me. This ended up making the accidental death seem like a premeditated crime. Someone has to live as a murderer. Someone else has to live as the son of a murderer. Now I remembered. It was because of this? I placed my hands on the wall and bowed my head for a while. In fact, I knew. I thought it might be this, and it was the only reason that would make me understand my mother's behavior. The reason why she suddenly wrote the essay was to make me the son of a murderer, not a murderer. I often think about it. Maybe it was all an excuse. There could have been a better way. No matter what, I shouldn't have left the child alone. As a mother, I shouldn't have acted that way. In the end, I'm just a mother who ran away. This was the last sentence. I waited just in case, hitting the wall a few times. However, no more sentences appeared. It shouldn't be like this. In this way, I wouldn't be able to hear the end of this ridiculous story. Spit her out. Spit her out. I started to frantically hit the wall. Fuck. The fourth wall licked my fists. The blood, memories, and stories on my fist were sucked into the fourth wall. I didn't cry. Kim Doctor was crying. The fourth wall said. Kim Doctor quietly clenched his fists. Bang. He hit the wall. Bang. He hit it again. Fuck. Kim Doctor got goosebumps. Everything was becoming a story. All his actions and words in the scenarios were becoming sentences on the wall. Shut up. Kim Doctor wanted to know. What should he do? How could he break this wall? Was this the price for reading Ways of Survival? He read it and his reality became a novel. Then a noise like a page tearing was heard. Gee yeek. Kim Doctor thought. Hey, what is this? I finally saw unnatural words on the wall. It was like graffiti left behind by someone who read the novel. Kim Doctor was amazed. Stay upright. Who was talking to him? This is your skill. Who was it? You shouldn't be eaten by your skill. What? You idiot, quickly take off your hands. I saw that the wall was swallowing my fist. Turn the skill off, Kim Dokja. Enlightenment ran through my head. I didn't know who I was talking to. I didn't know. If it was possible or not. However, it was clear what I had to do. I will turn off the fourth wall. An electric current flowed through the wall as it shook violently. For the first time, I felt something around me fading. The wall was collapsing. The next moment, a message was heard. The system error due to unknown causes is temporarily fixed. Your attributes window has been restored. Do you want to check the attributes window now? Chapter 181 Unable to be eaten Part 3 I could see the attributes window? I finally understood a few things that didn't make sense. The reason I hadn't been able to see my attributes window was due to fourth wall. The fourth wall protected me from other beings, but at the same time, it was a skill that isolated me from myself. 
Checking the attributes window. The system configuration is unstable. Some skill names and levels are limited. Then for the first time, I saw my attributes window. Plus. Personal information, name, Kim Dokja. Age, 28 years old. Constellation support, none. Modifier, the ugliest king, tentative. Private attribute, eight lives, hero, scenario. Plus. Before the attributes window was fully revealed, the screen crashed and sudden messages emerged. Some constellations are approaching your mental barrier. At this moment, I wanted to say oops. Maybe the constellations had been looking for this opportunity, for the day that my information was revealed to the world. The constellations of the Nebula Vedas are approaching you. The constellations of the Nebula Olympus are approaching you. The constellations of the Nebula Papyrus are approaching you. The constellations who sought to improve my existence started to forcibly open my mind. At this moment. The exclusive skill fourth wall is reactivated independently of your will. Plus. Exclusive skills, omniscient readers viewpoint LV, bookmark LV, character list LV, fourth wall LV, LV. Overall evaluation, you. Plus. A lot of the information was hidden by. As numerous bricks piled up, strong sparks that concealed my information appeared. The constellation, founder of humanity, is groaning. The constellation, poked out his eyes is covering his eyes, and stepping back. The constellation, scorpion goddess steps back, while protecting her tail. Some of the constellations approaching you are struck and have retreated. The countless letters rotated reliably. The fierce sparks of the fourth wall were protecting me from the constellations. The guy who was fighting me a while ago was now emitting a fierce aura towards the constellations. The fourth wall is baring its teeth towards the star stream. I stared at the fourth wall. The last thing I heard was a message from a well-known constellation. The constellation Secret of Plotter is smiling at you. The message was distinctively different from the other constellations. Surely he didn't see my information in such a short period of time. Even if he did see it, he wouldn't have been able to check everything. I couldn't confirm all the information, despite opening the attributes window. The sparks calmed down and the wall turned towards me again. The fourth wall is angry with you. I stared at the wall. For a long time, I thought this wall was the boundary between the novel and reality. The wall allowed me to adapt to the new world and show unusual judgment in terrible situations. However, once I asked about the actual identity of the wall, I couldn't come to a conclusion. The only thing I could be certain of was that this wall had protected me for a long time. There were a few crises, but I overcame them due to the presence of this wall. It was thanks to this wall that I could arrive here. I brought my hands towards the letters making up the wall. I'm sorry. The fourth wall is shaking. The strange texture of the letters wrapped around my fingers. The fourth wall felt like this. The letters of the wall clung to my hands like Dr. Fish, Red Gara. They seemed to be licking and biting me. It was a feeling that couldn't be clearly shared. There was no analogy for it. The fourth wall was like a wet puppy, an abandoned child, a teenager who didn't listen, etc. The fourth wall. The fourth wall was like me. Then a sentence appeared on the wall. Kim Dok Ja is an I diet. The sentence seemed to have been written by a child just learning Hangul. It wasn't a story related to me or the world. It was the words of the fourth wall. I smiled at the wall. Dollar hashtag carrot hashtag dollar carrot hashtag dollar percent at hashtag dollar. The fourth wall wrote unrecognized characters, as if it was confused for a moment. Then after a while, it wrote a sentence again. Kim Dokja thought, the fourth wall is an existence with its own will as well. It was starting again. Then were the words written in brackets from the fourth wall? However, the fourth wall's tone is too static compared to that.
then who wrote those words? If this really is a wall, there is something else in the wall. Stop reading other people's thoughts. The fourth wall is turning its head away. The fourth wall is telling you not to forcibly turn it off again. I kept talking while touching the fourth wall. I know. Instead, I have a request. The fourth wall is looking at you. I took a brief breath before saying, give me back my mother. The wall shook briefly, as if to judge if my words were true or not. Then a sentence appeared on the wall. Kim Dokja hates his mother. That's right. Kim Dokja knows what happened with his mother. He knows what his mother has been through, the life she lived, and what she was hiding. Just because he knows, doesn't mean he understands everything. Yes. Because of this, Kim Dokja still hates his mother. This is what human emotions are like. There is no magic that will heal all wounds, just because someone else has a deep wound as well. You have great insight. I agree. Thus, Kim Dokja can't understand it himself. Why is he trying to save his mother? I can't explain. Not everything can be expressed in sentences. I quietly looked at the wall and said, I don't have much energy left. Please help me. I'm asking you. The fourth wall was silent for a long time before displaying the following sentence. Kim Dokja. Could an existence who already entered the wall come out again? I didn't know if it was possible or not. Still, I had to try. Then the wall started to move. Something was vomited out from the wall. There were numerous letters. The letters gathered to become words and the words came together to become sentences. The sentences gathered into paragraphs and the paragraphs gathered again to become a story. The story soon formed a person. I embraced my mother who was lying in the letters. Then I told the fourth wall, thank you. The fourth wall shook and started to disperse. S-L-E-E-P-Y. Little by little, the surrounding space was broken. The constellation Secret of Plotter is snapping at the Great Old One spying on you. The darkness of the outer universe was clearing away. Time and space were broken and the surrounding scenery changed to the second floor of Dark Castle. Then the subsequent messages appeared. Your Dark Castle ranking has changed. Your current Dark Castle ranking is second place. You have met the hidden goal of the main scenario. You are eligible to participate in the last scenario of Dark Castle. Two days had passed since the battle on the plains. All mortals lost their fighting spirit in the face of a god. The forces of the wanderers and the forces of paradise. In a sense, the powerful despair brought peace to all of them. The commanders of the wanderers and the commanders of paradise settled the dead and cleared up the situation. The unnecessary disturbance disappeared and the second floor of Dark Castle was slowly gaining stability. The rankers were slowly selected to go up to the next floor and people agreed to entrust them with the future of Dark Castle. Most rankers were gathered in front of a small coffin. It is his job to die all the time. Kim Dokja died as soon as he came back from defeating the Outer Gods. He fought against such a mighty being that his companions thought it was natural. Young Hee Won said, will he be alive again tomorrow? Last time it also took three days. The group had adjusted to Kim Dokja dying and weren't as shocked. Yu sang a bit her lips and wondered. By the way, did we need to put him in a coffin? Even the dead should be put in a bed, Young Hee Won made an excuse. The party members stared at Kim Dokja's coffin with different meanings. Lee Hyun-sung was watching with a reverent gaze, Shin Yu-sung looked guilty, and Yu Sang-a was confused. Then, by the way, master, I thought you would go to find hidden pieces, at Lee Jaihai's words, the party members all looked from the coffin towards a certain place. Yu Jong-hyuk frowned at the gazes and replied, now the only hidden pieces in Dark Castle are worthless. Then the reason why you came here. I need Kim Dokja to move to the next floor. 
HRMM, aren't the two of you very close these days? A few days ago, I saw. Yu Jong Hyuk's impression became grim and the cowardly Lee Jai Hai closed her mouth. Yong Hee Won tapped Lee Jai Hai and rebuked her. Stop teasing, Jong Hyuk SSI. Don't disturb the two of them. Oh, fine. In addition, you know the reason why he came here without asking. It is the same for everyone. At these words, the faces of the party members became solemn. They looked down at Kim Dokja's coffin. Yong Hee Won opened her mouth again. He isn't afraid of death, because he will live again. Just because he had multiple lives, didn't mean he should keep sacrificing them for others. Shin Yu Sung touched the surface of the coffin. If it wasn't for Doc Ja Juicy, we would have died by now. No one doubted it. Lee Hyun Sung, Yong Hee Won, Lee Gil Young, and Lee Jai Hai, as well. All of them had been saved by Kim Doc Ja. Lee Jai Hai sighed. I'm not saying this to be cheesy, but, if I had two lives, I would probably give one to a Juicy. I'm afraid he won't receive it, because you only have six points in affection. This kid, in any case, aren't we all the same when it comes to the garter belt? The group smiled as they watched Lee Jai Hai and Lee Gil Young clashing. It was an unbelievable sight when people were crying with frustration at the bloody battlefield two days ago. Yu Jong Hyuk watched them from a distance. Kim Dok Ja appeared and his plans changed a lot. The easy scenarios became difficult and the simple stories became complicated. Those who were supposed to die survived. Yu Jong Hyuk looked down at his hands. Perhaps among those who were supposed to die, Yu Jong Hyuk himself would be included. Yu Jong Hyuk thought it was very strange. This landscape could be made be a person who wasn't a regressor. This regression might be better than any other round of life that he had lived. It was terribly complicated in his mind. By the way, isn't that fate over now? Doc Ja Juicy died. Lee Jai Hai asked and some companions replied. Ah. That's right. That reminds me. Since he was destined to die because of a loved one, isn't the fate fulfilled? He died because of his mother. Yes. Why didn't I think of his mother? The voices were boisterous. Yusenga watched Yu Jong Hyuk standing in the distance with a complicated face. Yu Jong Hyuk also had a thought as he faced the eyes. The fate isn't over. There was the variable called Chiok Junyong, but the nebulae weren't that simple. The nebulae knew about Kim Dokja's resurrection. Thus, the fate could never end this way. In addition, the nebulae were angry with Kim Dokja and were likely to maliciously engage in realizing the fate. Above all, the big hurdle that was the next scenario would soon arrive. Thus, Yu Jong Hyuk needed to choose. He silently stared up at the sky. It was like he was looking for something there. After a while, his gaze was returned. The constellation is looking at his incarnation. The constellation? It was the third regression, but Yu Jong Hyuk still didn't know who his sponsor was. It was the source of the regression and the one who made Yu Jong Hyuk suffer a terrible tragedy. Yu Jong Hyuk took a breath and opened his mouth. Sponsor. I have to ask you something.